This episode uh, had kind of a odd name, odd title, The Clean Room, you know? That sounds like a horror movie. Yeah, I know. It made this me... was also kind of set up like a horror movie, yeah, done with in a, as a cartoon. It took me right to Dexter, American Psycho, you know? Like, yep. you got the, the, the crazy Wait, character who starts so seeing scary. things yeah, on they, everybody. Yeah, that's the intro. They're to unclean. This. They're unclean. They're just like these, it's, she's just walking, it's a cartoon of the, the main character, What's the um Claire Peterson? Peterson. Patterson. 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 Um, just walking down the street, uh, seeing blotches on people, blotches yeah. everywhere, and they don't explain this. We must cleanse the world they doesn't, they, of they these don't, people. They don't. Ex- yeah, just in general, it was very. Um, you know, what's that movie where you put on these glasses and you can see no, what everybody totally looks was like? No, it totally was like just put on the glasses. Put on the glasses. Just put on the glasses. Timmy. I told you, put on the hat. Put on the glasses and you too will see the truth. You'll anyway. see lead. You'll see lead everywhere. Well, oh, As it shit. turns out, spoilers. we spoiled it, spoiled it, spoiled it. Spoilers. spoilers, lead did it. The entire time it was lead. Yeah. It was the lead pipe and the lead gasoline and the lead paint and the lead toys and the lead toy soldier and the lead inside your pencils and your, your face and it everywhere. It brought down the Roman Empire, maybe. As well as made uh, some of your kids retarded. I don't think we use that word anymore. No, um, mongoloid is that not okay? I don't think that's okay. That's anymore. not okay. Um, um, stupid as fuck. That's is that... that's fine. Yeah, let's okay, go with that. Perfect. Let's go with that. Um, so so, uh, but we don't get that to that until almost a third, two thirds of the way into the episode, yeah. actually. So they don't actually explain what the blotches are most of the way, and they're but just. I like that. This one had like a narrative that I followed, like a little story. Yeah, that there was, was a lot going on in this episode as far as this one particular plotline, as opposed to like explaining everything about a subject. It narrowed in on just this one particular topic, and it was talking about Claire Patterson trying to figure, determine the age of the world. One, we have one co- really cool factoid: learning the age of the world and how we got there. Yeah. So that was really neat. It was, and that it was, was impressive. That was pretty impressive. Um, it, and was, it was all orchestrated by uh, um, apparently some Wall Street executive who worked at a university. Did that <laughs> no, feel no, like no, Gordon Gecko to uh, anybody else? Why don't you have a seat? Call me. Call me by my he first name. He seemed much more like a kindly old guy to me, you like, like to just do like science, a guy that wants to encourage. You got a wife. We're gonna we're gonna get you some science. You won't know what to do with it. John Real, sometimes you sound like <laughs> that. So uh, you want to be in a web series? We're gonna review the cosmos. Sure, you'll get your viewers. You'll, you'll get, get your, your subscribers. Viewers. You'll get your subscribers, and that's how I ended up here. Um, Every time. Eh. I love when uh, uh, Claire Patterson starts uh, doing the experiment, like for realsy, when he gets the room all clean, mm-hmm. and he starts. Talking to it. He's like talking to the. Creepy, he's talking like, to the uh, the what's, meteor. What's an electron between friends, huh? It's so uh, creepy. It's really you. distressing. Thank you, old scientists of the past. Huh? Thank, thank you. Thank yeah. you. Thanks. Yeah, you like Thanks. that, don't you? Thanks. Uh, we're gonna do some science. Figure out how old the world is. Yeah. You really distress me That's, sometimes, John Rail. It creeped me out. Your, uh, your impersonation oh. of it is really distressing. Oh, creepy, creepy. And this I would like to do a, a, a cut-up of is, uh, have you noticed Neil deGrasse Tyson's creepy come-hither look? Anytime he's about to teach you something, he's like, and of course, I have the explanation. Why That's not you, creepy. That is sexy as me. hell. I would go anywhere if Neil come deGrasse... Come into the bedroom and I'll tell you. If Neil that made that face at me, I'd be like, bow, bow, bow. I would be like, let me just get this dress off real fast. I don't think you would have a choice. You don't. You don't. I wouldn't have Neil a choice. Tyson. If Neil deGrasse Tyson said, come If he's hither, like, hey, you we would have hither. a science three way with with uh, with Neil deGrasse Tyson. We would have a, a devil science three way with Neil deGrasse Tyson. Right. And he would dominate us. One man, he could take on three or four of us. We should get Donnie and Anna. That is us. a man. That would just be, we'd all, all be. Taking that, right? Anyway, anyway he'd bl- <laughs> he he would blind us with. So with notice science. that next time you're watching, his little come hither. Come on. This isn't. It's not creepy. It's not. I'm just maintaining that it's not a creepy look. I'm maintaining mm-hmm. that it's it's a very it's fair. a fair, fair. He is a sexy man, and he does. If anybody deserves to lay that look down, it's him. Yes. Uh, they showed they showed, and I assume this was a real ad from back in the day. The uh, the lead is okay. Yeah. Hey, kid, why don't you invite your lead friend over with the... My the, favorite was the light bulb. It was like, his, 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 his shines brighter with gay electricity. 
It was the gay electricity, and it was a very. It was very. It was like oh, it was something so you'd funny. see on South Park, it and I bad. suspect it was real. I feel like it may have been real. Bring on your lead friends with all the rat poison, and why don't you play with matches? You know, we'll have a great gay old time. I really thought this episode was going to be all about like how awesome it was that this guy discovered the age of the Earth, and then it became big business is ruining science, and scientists need to get the up the yeah. game. Damn, dude. Up the game, guys. And like, Has, they, yeah, that trial. They're like, they're like, we usually you know, expect lawyers to disagree, not to scientists who only lawyers. use evidence. No, you like, and your right? evidence, your crazy dude. evidence. He's like, that's my fucking point, bitches. There's a lot of bitches moments from Patterson in this. Yeah, except he didn't do it quite right. He was very meek. And, meh, old guy. It was very gotta, like. Well, Old Gil's got to show what lead does. Old Gil, anyway. Don't okay. drip on the ice. Oh my God. All right. You sweat on the ice. You're, there's more You're lead in you. You're contaminating <laughs> it with your lead. Your more inside lead. More lead in you than stars in the universe. I'm gonna punch you gonna so hard. I don't even know why I want to punch you so uh, hard right now. You know what uh, this episode kind of reminded me of, and it it made me. Uh, it was one of those, um, like you read about polio and then you hear about people who are anti-vaccine. Uh, hearing about this whole lead scare reminded me of people who are anti-fluoride. Mm -hmm. And it's just this obscene amount of narrow privilege. It's like just 50 years ago, our kids and people were dying and getting poisoned and becoming, you know, like practically brain dead in some cases. And nowadays, people are like, ooh, fluoride might sort of kind of do something bad. And it's not. It's really fucking not. Uh, and I, I hate using the word privilege, but we are. We live in a pretty good fucking time. We do. And we honestly do. Yeah. Like, this is, we're, we're, uh, we're learning at a pretty fast clip. Ugh. I mean, that's the problem with uh, being bombarded with information and with, uh, you know, uh, yeah. verbosity. Yeah. Is that kind of... Everything seems almost like equal playing fields. Everything, everything seems up for debate. Yeah. You know, Bill Nye has a debate with the creationists. Oh, there's a debate going on. No, there's fucking not. It's not a debate. There's no debate about that. <laughs> but we're bombarded by so much info that everything seems, you know, if everything is true, nothing is true. Yeah. What's the exciting um, conclusion of this of this week's cartoon? Uh, exciting conclusion would be. Um, be happy that we live in a lead-free world. Yeah, pretty much. Well, not completely lead-free. There's still lead. I mean, it's still a well, thing that lead, exists in the world. Much, uh, but we're a living, lead less We're moving, world. Uh, living in a much leadless world. There's less lead in the less world. Less lead. In America, in our less world. Less things that your things. kids can chew on. We're not, I'm not, I'm, I mean, I, for one, was a very, um, I'm a, I like to put things in my mouth, and I like to do some more as a kid, so I'm sure I would have put a lot of toys in my mouth. This is getting weird. Anyway, moving on. Maybe she had some vintage toys. That's all I'm saying. Punch. Ew. That's what happened to the kid on SVU. You know? Punch. They figured out because he was chewing the pencils. Anyways. I wish there were more water bears in this episode. I wish there were water bears in every episode. They sneak in a lot of episodes, I gotta say. They've been in two. Two or three. Yeah. I just wish, I just want them to be in every episode. I know that they're there. They're like around. They're just hanging out. They're like my invisible friends. But where are water bears? Everywhere. Find, Find me a water bear. Just bring me one. Nice. Yes. We should be able to order them like sea monkeys. Yeah. I don't know why I don't like have like 70 million of them. You just blew my fucking mind. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs>